Hello and welcome back to Neo Plays Kagero Deception 2. We're here on chapter 5. Let's go ahead and take a look at our trap options here. I don't actually remember uh, where we are on this. Yeah, um, I think... Ooh, Ardebar Ardebaran, we can afford that. Um, that's, uh, I believe that's the, the new trap we got for completing the game our third time and getting the, the third ending. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that. I really want the Evil Up and Evil Stomp. But we've seen those quite a bit. I abused the hell out of them because I still think they're the best traps we've gotten. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get this mask and see if maybe we can find a way to use that. It actually kind of looks like the mask that some of the um, people we fight play uh, wear, like the the really big characters. Um, let's see. Yeah, I want to carry that over. Um, let's see. We'll put that in place of the slow gas. We never use gas or actually you know what I'll keep the slow gas and get rid of the mega rock because we don't need two rocks um, even though we don't use the gas but we'll uh, we'll eventually be replacing that, that with the stomp I'm sure um, and then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our enemy data because it's gonna be different now this is gonna be a lot different than the chapter 5 we played through the first time we played the game um, here we see our three characters and we know these characters some of you may remember them from before but they appeared much later in the game uh, when we when we killed Rain and Gerald. But here we go with uh, first Ash. Ash is like a brother to Hana. He's concerned about her recent macho attitude. And I know one of if you um, are doing the other uh, storyline, I think it ad adds something about it emasculates him. But in, for some reason, in this chapter it doesn't have that extra little bit. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, Stats uh, was one of the people we had to keep from blowing the castle up. I remember. Um, very cowardly character. Yeah, a lazy coward who runs in the face of any battle, acts without thinking. So he won't be a big problem for us, other than maybe uh, being a little bit annoying like Dar was. And then Hana, a fighter, uh, with an expert fighter with no equal in a legitimate battle. Um, doesn't say anything about her being like a sister to Ash, though. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and battle start here as we enter uh, this our fifth chapter, titled Ordeal of the Young this time around. Here we are uh, outside the, the mansion here. Um, Machia says, There's a human girl in the castle and no one else. No one else, huh? This mission doesn't look so difficult. Just take care of her quickly. Uh, and there's Ash. Uh, that's why they recruited soldiers like us for this mission. Is it? Um, and then panning out there, there's Hana. Uh, really? It's like some kind of test. It is it? Okay, I, I don't actually follow the line of thinking there, but there's stats. Yup. <laughs> Forget stats. I hate you, stats. Uh, that means they don't trust us. Okay. Um. Well, no, they shouldn't really. That's right. <laughs> That's why you need to perform well here to earn our faith. Uh, but they won't, will they? Alas, it is their fate to die at my hand. Uh, it looks like um. One of them's going to be coming in through this room pretty quickly here. Let's go ahead and set up the spike rock. We'll get a chance to use our, our new mask trap later. For right now, I want to stick with some things I'm a bit more familiar with. Press wall here. And then um, we'll just get the uh, heavy claw right here. It won't do anything, but hold them in place. But it should give us a chance to a little bit gain a little bit better control of our surroundings here. Um, at least for the time being. I need, um, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with these guys pretty close to the same time. I don't know if it's Hunter or Ash coming through the door here, but one of them's gonna come in through, oh, already there. It's Ash. Um, okay, I've got him in place, and then, alright, Hunter's gonna be coming down the stairs here soon. Um, yeah, that did almost nothing to him, but we'll go ahead and drop the spike rock down. Uh, hopefully that'll catch her. Yeah, okay. Now, um, that should give us a chance to move on up here. Let's see, go ahead and do the press wall, knock her into the electric chair there. That'll take care of her. Don't think the spike rock's gonna charge in time for us to dash with it. What do you- what did you do to me? It's not fair! It's- no, it's not. You didn't actually stand a chance, I'm sorry, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, Ash is already coming up the stairs here, so I don't think we'll get the chance to hit him with the spike rock. It's pretty slow here. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll just move on out of there, across this room. Let's see. Uh, okay, stats is um, 
on the way to behind us, so that's good. So we can come into here and prepare for both of them, just like right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let's try this Artaburon. Um, we'll just set it on top of the door here, just to try it out. I don't actually even remember what it does. Hold on, can I actually see, um, where is this ma curse mask become lifeless and can- okay. So it's some kind of confusion, so it actually is a lot like the gases, uh, some of the later gases anyway. Um, but we can also set up an arrow slit here and a small bomb uh, right there. And we'll come on down uh, a little ways, we don't need to come on too far here. Um, and it loads fast, that's nice. Um, Artaburon, I wonder what the origin of that name is, I need to look that up sometime, see. Um, if that is like some kind of folkloric reference or, or what it is. Uh, I don't know. Looks like uh, Stats is coming in first, but he's running away, so we don't have to worry about him. Ash should be close behind, though. We do have to worry about Ash. He's got a lot of health, and he actually will attack us. Um, let's go ahead and drop the... Uh, well, didn't work. Um, that didn't work either, and there he got us with his sword. Okay, so the um, Artaburon takes longer to fall than I thought it would, um, which is unfortunate. I'm going to activate it again. I think Stats might be under it. Uh, nope. Did I misread the... Oh, no, he retreated. Okay. Well, we can, um, try again here. I really want to see it at work on him, though. Um, Ash, that is. Let's see. Um, well, never mind. I'm gonna run on past him and come into the next room here. I don't, um, it's a little hard to control that area, um, unless you, like, we have some luck there with the, like, the spike rocks, but, um, as far as trying to, I really want to activate this trap just to see it, at least once. I don't know if we'll be keeping it around after we've used it once, but, um, there we go, and then, uh, boy, I don't know, I guess we'll put another, I don't know, let's put the heavy claw, like, right here, so at the very least we should be able to hold him in place, and then I can hit him with the arrow slit. We need to do some kind of damage to Ash here, he's already, like, he's hurt us more than we've hurt him at this point, which is pretty embarrassing, um, given our position in the game here, uh, but hopefully I can, um, I can trap him with the Artaburon this time, and we'll get a, a look, we'll get to see it in action. I, I think we can kind of imagine what it looks like, but I just want to see it. We haven't used, we haven't used any masks yet, um, I don't even know if there is another one. Oh, there we go, okay, I was about to say I don't think we'll get him, but we got him, and now he's, yeah, dazed and confused here, but, um, let's go ahead and hit him with the arrow slit too. Um, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Is that the best arrow we have? Yeah, it is. Okay, we just haven't gotten any other arrows yet. But, um, I didn't hit him with it one more time there. I guess we'll go ahead and change this to the spike rock and put it, like, on the stairs here. I don't know if we'll get the chance to use it there. Um, probably not. Let me go ahead and set a heavy claw down here at the bottom of the stairs, too. Um, and I guess we'll move the arrow slit as well. We're not... We're not worried about um, stats. He's not. He doesn't pose any kind of threat to us at all. But uh, unfortunately, we still have to kill him. <laughs> doesn't uh. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. I don't actually feel sorry for stats at all. I don't like the cowardly characters. It's annoying. Um, I like as much as this guy's hurting us and the way he's much more dangerous to us than stats or Dar or any of the other characters who run and hide from us. At least I don't have to chase him. You know. I'm gonna have to hunt stats down him to a corner somewhere. And there goes Ash. I wanted to prove myself to them. Yeah, instead you're half in a river and half not, and look kind of weird there. Um, but let's see. Um, yeah, stats isn't even coming through the hallway yet. He's still in this other room. If we can back him into a corner, we should be able to finish him off. Uh, like I said, we don't have the option of letting him run away. He won't leave. He'll just continually not up confront us. Like here, he could leave right now if he wanted to. He could totally just go out that door, but instead he's just gonna sit there and wait for us to kill him. What a loser. Um, I don't know if we actually even can from here though, like, I can't aim an arrow slit into there, and I can't, I don't know, maybe with the bomb I could get him, but I don't know, I don't think even that has a radius that'll let me hit him, but I can't set it inside there either, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> I really wish he had have hit in the corner, because like, yeah, that's not going to hit him. We don't have anything that can hit him right now. Uh, 
Other than maybe slow gas, I don't know. Let's try him back out and see if we can lure him away. Uh, out of that area. Let's see, is he, is he moving now? Uh, no. Come on out, man. Just... This is what I'm talking about. This is why I hate these characters so much. It's so... Like, look at him. He's just running back and forth there. The, the, AI, the AI on these types of characters is really frustrating. Like, I think I'd have to leave the room for him to even come out of there. Let me... Okay, let me do that. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out. I wish he would just leave. Just run away. Okay, he came out. Alright. So maybe we can, um... Get him some other way here? I don't know. Uh, where did he go even? Okay, he's around this way. Okay, I can I can get him over here. If he just stays right there, I'll just drop a spike rock right on his head. And that should finish him off. So now we just gotta wait for it to load. Um, thankfully there aren't a lot of these guys. There's like maybe five or six throughout the whole game. Um, but every time we encounter one, it's always a situation like this. At least he's not running up and pushing me. That's the thing I really hate. Um, there we go, okay. Got, got stats out of the way, and I think that's everybody. Damn, I'd rather have my life instead of their lousy faith. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have come then, dude. Like, I would have spared you. But anyway, here's Matya. I didn't know such powerful humans existed. Maybe I can use her instead of killing her now. Okay, well, that's her plan, but mission five is clear. Um, here we've got our, our perfect genocide. Won't see a lot of these this playthrough, but they're still necessary a lot of the time. Um, took a little bit of damage, but we still got a good life bonus there. Ash was smashed by a spike rock. Stats was also smashed by a spike rock. Um, and then Hunter was doused by the vault chair. Um, not even, it wasn't even the, the wall that killed her, it was the, uh, the chair. But, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty successful run. I wish we could have avoided taking damage, but oh well. Uh, let's move on here. We are uh, back at King Eclipse's castle. We can tell by the big banner there. Have any GMD been killed? It's a really emphatic question there. Yes, my king. The humans killed five TMD in a vicious attack. Oh, that's unfortunate. But the TMD are dicks, so I don't actually care. Five? Five were killed? Who has done this and why? So many expletives and question marks there. Um, kind of weird to see the numeric five used to say the, the word too, but there we go. I'm so sorry, my king. Did you kill them? Why are you apologizing? Unfortunately, we've yet to identify any of the killers. I guess that's one reason we could be sorry. Um, however, since so many TMD were killed in this attack, ellipses, ellipses the humans involved must be very powerful. Yeah, probably Captain Keith, I would assume. Um, we may even know that for sure, I don't remember, but... Hmm, maybe it's the nobleman, Hornstein! Why do they always think it's Hornstein? It's not Hornstein, man. It may be Dead Moon. With his involvement, the reason is clear. Uh, yeah, it's obviously Dead Moon. Um, they assume we'll trade immortality for allegiance? Um, <laughs> yes, they obviously don't understand what that entails. Yeah, it entails you have to kill humans. Uh, they have some reason to revolt. Maybe that's it. Well, maybe. I see. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is only my guess, your majesty. But I believe there may be an attempt on your life by a rebel faction. I suggest you take a temporary refuge at our sacred place. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the room full of rivers of piss. Yes, we have no choice, but how should we solve this problem? He looks pretty contemplative there. Strike at once! Using a loyal agent they won't suspect. It's Millennia! It's us! It's gotta be. We'll use Millennia! Yeah, <laughs> shall easily avoid raising suspicion. Uh, it's been so long since we've seen this cutscene, I don't actually remember how it goes. Yes, my king! <laughs> Keeps surprising me, but... Here we've got, uh, Yokel and Millennia back at the, uh, the house. She's gonna tell us to go to the king's castle here. The king is quite pleased with your work, Millennia! Millennia doesn't seem to care. <laughs> we have trouble! Some TND were killed by human rebels! Um... 
Why do the humans kill the TMD? Why? Why do they do it? Uh, no one knows. It's very sad that this had to happen. It's so sad. The TMD are such nice blue people. No. The king will take shelter elsewhere. And you, Millennia Ellipses? Um, really long of it, she's there. He appoints you to guard the castle. A great honor. We're so honored. We really are. Um, you must protect the castle and keep it safe. Alright. I think we can probably manage that. And seeing that fire burning behind her, I really want to... When we come back there, I want to throw somebody in that fire with a spring. You gotta try that out. When she says, You were summoned by the king as well, Dead Moon? Uh, Hornstein, you green person. Oh, yes, some of the TMD have been killed. Uh, Ellipses, seems the king has called only. Uh, Ellipses, seems the king has only called only the most powerful of humans. I always get their dialogue confused. Uh, so, the news of the massacre was true. <laughs> yes, Ellipses, this is our chance to prove our loyalty to the TMD. Dead Moon's not going to do that, though. He's not interested at all. You could be right. Uh, it's simple, Ellipses. We catch their murderers and gain their trust. Oops! Don't repeat that to anyone! I don't know why. It's just between us! Why is that a secret? But, anyway, that's not the real Dead Moon anyway. Ellipses. Thinking about something. Have you heard news about the murderers? <laughs> no, nothing. How about you? Yeah, Dead Moon, you heard anything? Huh? Fake Dead Moon? <laughs> um, dramatic fan over here. I don't think I should say ellipses. No, of course not. Alright, but back here at our uh, central area, we can take a look at our traps. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get anything new. Yeah, um, there's some good options here. Really wish we had the evil upper and evil stomp by now, though. So I'm gonna wait, because, like, these are what I really want. So, um, we're gonna stick with our mediocre selection right now. Uh, go ahead and check out our enemy data. Um, we'll be seeing both of these characters again, although it'll be a different Dead Moon. Um, maybe he says, uh, fights as a red blood, but secretly schemes to rule country. He really wants to rule country. Uh, has self-healing powers. Yes, he does, unfortunately. And then Hornstein here. Um, rich businessman who regularly contributes to the king. Adopted and raised many orphans. Like, he looks evil. Like, if you look at his face there, he looks like a bad guy, but they paint him as, like, the nicest dude. Um, and just super, uh, like, gullible, too. Like, really loyal to the TMD to a fault. But let's go ahead and battle start here, uh, jumping right in with Chapter 6. The Castle of Illusion. I think we all know what castle that is. Here we are inside the Castle of Illusion. Uh, Dead Moon and Hoisting. Hoisting says, what is this? No welcoming party for us? Uh, the place feels empty, doesn't it? Well, this is where Dead Moon makes a super joke, isn't it? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, Dead Moon. Maybe they're all dead. It's just wishful thinking on his part, but... You must be kidding! <laughs> yeah, he must be. I am kidding, but ellipses. Something's wrong. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, let's check out the rest of the castle. You go if you want, ellipses. I'll wait here. I will not willingly antagonize the king. Yeah, I know you won't, man. Uh, Dead Moon will, though. Do as you wish. Um, but anyway, he's gonna come here and he's got his ninja with him. So let's go ahead. Let's see. I don't even know um, how we're going to uh, approach these guys. But I think um, I'm going to wait for him to come through and then I'm just going to run to the back room because I think I can control the situation a little bit better back there and then inside this big open area where he can kind of pick us apart, especially with our limited trap options. But here he comes, uh, old Dead Moon himself. Well, not really, but you know. Um, hey, you. You don't look familiar. What are you doing here? And, uh, I can... I think it doesn't really matter what I say here. I think when we, before we said I'm killing humans, so let's hear, let's just say, Ellipses, um, 
Uh, no one will care if I kill a rat sneaking around the castle. <laughs> really? Hagane, I will be able to use you after all! It's interesting that he, he has no idea why we're here and he still decides to kill us. That's just the kind of great guy this Dead Moon imposter is. Um, no doubt the real Dead Moon would have done the same though. But anyway, we run on back here, um, trying to walk into those spikes, and now we can set up a few traps that we know will hit him. Not the bear, but I want the heavy glove. Um, like, the, that's the door there. And we got an arrow slit we can press, uh, select here, and then I guess, um, set up a spike rock here. Um, and that should be good. Notice the, uh, the altar isn't even here yet. Um, like when they set up the bomb later, when they set us up the bomb, they, they put it underneath the altar, but the altar doesn't even exist until the bomb's here, which is interesting. But, um, Looks like we can just sit here and wait. I don't know if Hagane's gonna come back here, but it looks like Dead Moon's slowly but surely trudging his way towards us. Uh, and then we can kind of pick him apart a little bit better here. Won't be able to finish him off right off the bat. Again, we don't have our good traps. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to hit him with some good, uh, some good stuff. And then we can, uh, rack up some points. We should be able to, next episode, get the, at least one of either the Fist or the Stomp that I really like. Uh, the evil upper, the evil stomp. But, um, let's see, see. Okay, he's about to come through here. Just gotta catch him with the heavy claw right off the bat. There we go. And then arrow slit. We should be able to hit him with the arrow slit at least twice, I would think. As fast as it loads. Maybe even three times. And then hit him with the spike rock when he tries to go up the stairs, I think. Um, and there we go. Actually, we might even be able to get him with the arrow slit one more time, depending on the path he takes here. But he's already healing himself, which is unfortunate, but yeah, there we go, um, I don't think that's enough to do him in, yeah, he, oh wait, it is, I can't die here like this, forgive me, Master Dead Moon, yeah, there's the uh, Dead Moon's body double, and then, meanwhile, Horn's seen back here, what's that scream, I'm surprised you could hear it all the way back here, anyway, um, I still don't know where Hagane is, if he's in this room, or if he's still in the throne room, or, I don't know, let's see, Usually the ninjas appear around the staircases. I'm not seeing him. He's not over there. He's probably still back there. He's probably still hiding behind the throne. But um, anyway, we should be able to allow Hornstein to live here, which will be nice. Uh, don't have to kill him. We do have to worry about Hagane, though, wherever he is. Um, he still hasn't shown himself, has he? I, I have no idea where this guy is. Um, but... We'll, we'll find him eventually. In the meantime, I don't know. Actually, I'm not, I like we can just kind of wait, and Hornstein will eventually stumble across us here. But I don't know what to do with Agane. Oh wait, there he is. Oh crap, crap, crap! He's gonna get me. I can't turn around fast enough. Okay. Um, let's see. I need to. Oh, I need to set up some traps here. Um, I guess. Uh, I don't like fighting in this room, but we can set up um some stuff along here that I can try to lure him into. It's gonna be hard though. Um seeing then a heavy claw. We'll have to keep him busy until everything loads. Probably have to talk to Hornstein at some point. I don't know what he'll make of this um ninja chasing around a girl in the throne room, but uh come on back here, man. <laughs> we we've already kind of given up on getting like a no damage or whatever, but hopefully he can come towards us here, not throw these stars all the time. That's the thing. Um, he's got those throwing stars, so he's not gonna necessarily come towards us like I would like. Wait, can I get him? No! I can't get him there. Ah, he's, he moved out of the way of the spike rock too. Thankfully he doesn't have much health, so we might just be able to pick him off with the arrow slit. Like, if we had a better arrow, like the fire arrow, or better yet, the triple arrow, we could have finished him off right there, but I think... Oh, I ran into our rock, but that's okay, the arrow got him. Man, we take a lot of unnecessary damage here. I'm going to die before this mission ends. Yeah, you are, man. And there he goes, finally. And now we can just worry about Hornstein. We shouldn't pose a threat. He's another coward character, but this was one that we can actually let escape. Uh, who are you? I've come on the king's request. Desist! Um, but then he just, like, cowers. So I think if we leave, just come back here, I think he'll leave. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I... I don't, I haven't tried this one, like, uh, I've tried some of the other levels where you can let people live, or I just remember them, 
Uh, or it's obvious that you can let them live. But I think you can let him live here. So let's see. It, he shouldn't keep pursuing us. Or actually, we might have to hurt him once. Um, and he's got a lot of health, so we can do that without much trouble. I don't think this rock's going to hit him. But uh, I'll look at him slowly but surely running away there. I think if we hurt him once, he'll try to leave. Um, I wound him to a certain point. Uh, I think we ran into that when we fought him the first time. Where he, like, begs for his life or something along those lines. And I think at that point he'll actually try to leave. But we may have to do that damage first. Otherwise he'll keep doing the, the cowardly uh, assault. Where he comes close to us but doesn't really attack us. And just kind of waits around for us to hurt him. So, let's try it. Oh, that didn't hit him for some reason. Okay, but the claw did. So... He must just be just outside the arrow slit's path there, cause yeah, that didn't hit him either. But, um, I don't know, let's see if, uh, that's enough, or we might have to hurt him a little bit more than that. There, okay, we got something. Please forgive, ellipses, me. Um, I saw nothing! I know nothing! I know, I know you know nothing. Just leave, dude. Okay, there he goes. Um, we can pursue him, but now that he's not trying to attack us, we should be able to just let him leave on his own volition, and that'll allow us to have some different chapters later, which is good because this middle stretch of the game I'm really hoping won't be too repetitive because there's not a lot of big changes that can occur there. Um, there's a few, but not very many that'll be major differences, but one of them is, if you recall, there's some characters that are like Ornstein's subjects or... Um, his priest or something like that. There's some, there's some characters that are loyal to Hornstein that come seeking revenge on him. But, um, th we still fight them, but it's under different circumstances, and we'll get to see that at a later episode. But for now, we'll just watch this guy slowly, slowly plot away. Like, my gosh, he might be the slowest character we've ever spared the life of. Just plodding along here, fat old green Hornstein. Uh, just get out of here, dude. Go. <laughs> uh, if he just tucked his head between his legs and rolled, he'd get out of here faster. Just just turn into a little ball and roll out of here. That's mean. I shouldn't say things like that, but I don't actually care. Like, I, I said he's nice, but I don't actually like Hornstein. He's, he's pretty useless. Um, just a, He's just a yes man, is all he is. Just a yes man to the king who doesn't have any opinions or... Uh, aspirations or anything like that that we know of. Um, we'll just kind of stand here, watch him leave. We're great assassins, by the way. Look at look at how good we are at assassinating this tub of lard. <laughs> Boy, he's slow. There's a loon gear, or a loon gear, <laughs> a healing loon over there that we could use if we needed to, but it's not necessary. I like these wall designs. We haven't actually looked at them. There's a lot of empty space, but I like the design that's there. Um, that girl is the one who killed the king? No. No, I... What? The king's not even dead. He took... Ah, uh, he took dead men too seriously. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay. But anyway, we got two sacrifices at least. We can check them out here. Deadman was speared by the arrow slit, as was Hagane. Pretty... Not a lot of variance here with our very limited options as the good trap. But, um, let's go ahead and see what... what happens now. Back at uh, Dead Moon's headquarters here, Matthias says, Sir, Dead Moon ellipses. <laughs> there they are. I've been told that your double was killed at the castle. Her voice is a lot different than it was earlier, isn't it? Killed by the king? Yes, by the king. He did it himself. No, the king wasn't there. He must have escaped. Yeah. I see. He's hiding somewhere. That means that the king still hasn't found out who's been killing the Timenoids. No, I guess not. No, sir, actually, your double was killed by the girl at the West Castle. Oh yeah, they know about me, don't they? Is that the girl we've kept alive because you said we might need to use her someday? <laughs> uh, yeah, not working out so well, is it? Yes, sir, that was my mistake. I never dreamed the girl had connections to the king! Why not? Uh, that's okay. I'm sure the king's unaware of my involvement, Ellipses. And besides, no one has died by my hand, Ellipses. I used mercenaries. 
If you pay somebody to kill them, you didn't actually kill them. However, I am a bit surprised that she was able to kill my double so easily. After all, he's exactly like me. The king could get rid of me so very easily, which means ellipses. Ellipses, he may have been deceiving me all this time. I'm not even sure now whether humans can really become timeoids. Well, they can. Um, in fact, I think they have to. I think that's the only way time are made, but you're like, Yes, sir, but who is this girl anyway? Who is she really working for? Herself, really. I don't know. The only thing I'm sure of is that she's nothing but trouble. <laughs> uh, oh, Millennia, getting into trouble. Machia, Ellipses, can you kill this girl without the doubtness of the king? Without the doubtness of the... Okay, whatever. Um, yes, sir, I won't fail this time. I'll leave it to you. I like the way he turns without moving his legs, like at all. He just rotates. I never thought Keith would stop the TMD hunt to find the Grail. If the Red Blood could be found, I'd pin this on them. That means such a bastard. But here we've got uh, some more familiar faces here, though. Uh, I'm not terribly looking forward to this stretch here, but Ricard. Hey, aren't you supposed to be with Ligral? And there's Aria. The girl's already in the castle! He said it will take a little time to set all of the bombs! Set the bombs? I didn't know that was his duty! Really? Look at the guy, he's clearly some kind of bomb dude. Shh, shh, You're too loud! Deadmood might use the bombs in his deal with the king! Nobody's here but me. Only the Growl himself can deactivate the bombs! Meanwhile, it's business as usual. Understood, Ricard? Wait, what does that mean? Wait, what is their role here if it's not setting bombs? Understood. I'm too, I'm to distract the girl. But I don't understand why all this is necessary. Yeah, I don't either. Dead Moon's double and Hagane were killed. Yeah, but uh, you'd better use someone mighty tough to handle her. You'd better... I guess she's using, like, an impersonal you? I guess she thinks pretty highly of herself and her team, then. But, uh, we'll deal with them next time in Chapter 7. But, uh, for the meanwhile, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.